So uh, you've been doing your research for quite a long time, yes? Yeah, quite a quite a while. Um, yeah, boy, I can't remember the year we started, but been at it a while. And so what got you started? Why did you start? Um, my, I, I was lucky my, my grandfather lived to be 102. So I got to know him pretty well, got to spend time with him. And uh, just uh, after he passed away, I just kind of had an interest in uh, uh, the history, how far back it would go about and try to find information about him. And um, I had a lot of information from my relatives and what, where he was from and the towns. Of course, most of it turned out not be true they, they, because he spoke, spoke broken English. Uh, they misunderstood what he was saying a lot of times, how he pronounced towns. So I hired a company, I forget the name of it now, but uh, to uh, get me copies, extracts of uh, my grandparents' uh, birth and marriage certificates. And that was the kind of the start that got me that first information where they were from. About that time, I think it was when Ellis Island was coming online. And so I could go in and look up, get copies of their um, ship manifest. And I, rem I remember the first time I saw my grandfather's name on the manifest, immediately got goosebumps in my uh, arms and it was like well okay i'm hooked now and at the I, I had a subscription to a magazine i think it's uh, grace oliva or oliva had it used to have a magazine called communes of italy and I had a subscription to that I learned a lot and there was a yahoo group by dan nemic uh on bari and and so yeah, I kind of learned a little, little bit by bit. 